So here I am in buffalo country. As you see behind me, you see herds and herds of buffalo all around in the area. On today's show, we're going to be talking about the American Indians of the Plains. So what kinds of American Indians lived in the Plains? Well, there were many different tribes that lived throughout the Great Plains. Those were the Crow, the Sioux, the Asagi, the Cree, Blackfoot, Pawnee, Idatsa, Mandan, Comanche, Wichita, Cheyenne, and many others. What region of North America did Plains Indians live? Well, Plains Indians lived in an area that's known as the Great Plains, a vast, large, flat area that is west of the Mississippi and east of the Rocky Mountains. How could one describe the climate of the Plains American Indians? Well, they had a temperate climate, which meant that they had four distinct seasons. It was cool in the winter, and it was very hot in the summer. They had 25 to 75 centimeters of precipitation annually. So what were the physical features like in the Great Plains? What landforms did they have? The Great Plains is a vast grassland that covers the middle section of the United States. You might see some hills, some rivers, some lakes, even some streams. But there are no trees. Grasslands cover the Great Plains. You might also see sunflowers, wildflowers, and milkweed. What kinds of animals lived in the Great Plains? Well, you would actually find buffalo, deer, elk, bear, antelope, prairie dogs, wolves, turkey, and many others. What kind of foods did the American Indians of the Plains eat? Well, they were hunters, farmers, and gatherers. When they hunted, they hunted buffalo, deer, elk, bear, antelope, prairie dogs, wolves, turkey. When they farmed, they grew corn, beans, sunflower, pumpkins, and sometimes squash. And then they gathered berries, nuts, bulbs, and seeds. So American Indians of the Plains used their environment for food. I get that. So how did they use their environment for shelter? Well, they had two types of shelter. They had permanent shelter and temporary shelter. In their permanent shelter, they lived in earth lodges. In their temporary shelters, they lived in teepees. When you look at a teepee, it's not too impressive. But when you think about the genius that is put behind it, oh, it's so impressive. Teepees were used for traveling hunters. Well, they used the hides of buffalo to build it. It could be built easily and taken down easily. It was cone-shaped and it had a hole in the top to allow smoke to escape and it could house a family. So the American Indians of the Plains used their natural resources that were provided in their environment for their shelter and for their food. But how did they use their natural resources for clothing? American Indians that lived in the Plains used their resources such as buffalo, such as bones, such as deer to make their clothing. They wore breech cloths, buckskin tunics, leggings, turbans, moccasins, which are like shoes. They wore headdresses, beads, necklaces, dresses, and robes. American Indians that lived in the Plains had an awesome culture. I think you'll identify many similarities between the culture that you have and the culture that the American Indians of the Plains had. See what I'm talking about? There's many similarities. I love to dance. She definitely loves to dance. I love to sing. They love to sing. They perform ceremonies. They construct pictograms. They're great storytellers. They have religion and they pray. And look at this guy, he's painting. Oh, I always love to paint. So I've ridden on a motorcycle before. I've ridden on a plane. I've ridden an ATV, a Jeep. Well, this isn't about me. This is about the American Indians of the Plains. What kind of transportation did they use? With the introduction of European horses, American Indians of the Plains adopted horses as a mode of transportation. They also used boats or canoes along rivers, and then they used these interesting sleds known as travoy that were sometimes led by horses or dogs. And just like you and I, they walked or sometimes ran. It's story time! In today's story time, we're going to talk about one of my favorite Americans, Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull was the first chief of the Lakota Sioux. He had many clashes with white settlers that were trying to encroach upon his land in the 1860s and 1870s. He said, I'd rather die an Indian than live as a white man. The United States government sent General George Custer to stop the clashes. Before General George Custer made his arrival upon Sitting Bull's land, Sitting Bull had a vision or a dream that he would conquer a great army. What is totally creepy and weird about this is that his dream or vision Oh, it wasn't a dream or vision at all. It was reality. General George Custer and 225 soldiers were killed when they confronted Sitting Bull. This skirmish is logged in history as the Battle of Little Bighorn. Sitting Bull symbolized one of my favorite quotes. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. 
Sitting Bull is a great representation of what made the American Indians of the Plains great. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you would like to check out more, visit our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Head over to our Instagram, click follow. Head over to our Facebook and like us. Check out our Pinterest boards. Then head over to YouTube, check out many more videos of the Bowtie Guy and Wife, and check out our blog at bowtieguyandwife.com.